Alec, welcome to E3 2021 Tarkaron Extravaganza. It is the extravaganza. Ooh. Woo. We just covered <laughs> Ubisoft and we're coming off of that high. Yeah, we are. Gonna... Oh, it's a, it's a real high. All right. Yeah. Love being gamers. In I mean, I don't know. I don't know how. I mean, I don't know if there's you can reach any more heights now after that. I mean, sure, we we have another height coming, right? Your heights. That movie's out. The movie's right. yeah. I'm gonna go see it this weekend. <laughs> I think. See it actually. Soon. Yeah. Gearbox is here. Uh, Gearbox really is new. for one thing for me is what Gearbox means to me is Borderlands. So yeah, Borderlands is about it. Um, for but me, I, as I am well. a I am a huge Borderlands fan though. So I'm not I'm not huge on Borderlands personally. Um, I like I like the concept. I played some of the first one back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um. And I played a little bit of two and I've liked it. I, I've genuinely enjoyed my time with Borderlands. I've just never like really been able to sit down and like really get into it. Um, but it's fun. They're fun games. I, I enjoy them for what they are. We still haven't gotten to play Borderlands 3 yet, but my brother and I have played through all of them before mm-hmm. that one. And I um, love Claptrap. I'm a big Claptrap fan. I think he's yeah. great. So. I think it's like the, some of the best that co-op can offer. Like it's mm-hmm. so unique and like, it's a first person shooter rpg elements but it's also like an open world that you can all be in together so it's the quintessential cool. looter shooter mm-hmm. randomly generating guns it's, it's a lot of cool. fun yeah so this uh, gearbox what do we have from gearbox you, here well i just want to ask you a question do you think randy pitchford do you think he like do you think he like bathes in in the borderlands money do you think like he, when he when he was done all of his live stuff he just like he, do you think the thing filming it was just his pile of money? Like, mm-hmm. like that he just kind of had like a giant, like, hey, 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 I'm making a be make a lot of money from this through the whole time. It was kind of <laughs> like, it was weird. <laughs> it was very weird. It was bizarre. In terms of the, the um, Borderlands movie. Yeah. So yeah. that was, yeah. So that was a significant part of this. Um, we honestly, I didn't think it was as bad as what Ubisoft did. I mean, in, in some ways, it wasn't as bad because, like, Ubisoft was like, hey, check out these things that no one I've never basically heard of except for last E3. And I may have seen, like, ads for it on, like, Hulu or something or Apple TV or whatever. Um, this, I had, like, when I first heard that there was going to be a Borderlands movie, I was just like, why? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, I know that the second game has a pretty beloved character and his the character story uh, handsome jack very beloved um but this, i don't as far as i know this doesn't have anything to do with any of that yeah, it's I don't know. about maybe atlas it's, is it, about it was the, not even i don't know is it about the first movie maybe the first game first the first game, game is, well it's it seems to be taking place like maybe before or during or something because like uh they, t- they talked even during all of their little inner cuts with this thing about Atlas, who's like, I guess a character that is never really shown up in any of the games. Hmm. It's just kind of like a, some sort of figurehead of a company. I don't even really, I don't know all that much about Borderlands. So I don't know, but, but yeah, it was weird. It was a weird, well, like behind the scenes thing. Kind of like, because it's still very secretive. It's very secretive. Which is still very ourselves. secretive. Yeah. And Kevin Hart, it plays Roland in it, which is a, yeah. a, fairly serious character within the realm of borderlands mm. so that's why it's like oh how's kevin hart going to do this character so it's uh, uh kate kate blanchett also is lilith right mm-hmm. which is weird to me because like lilith seems like she's a fairly young woman and kate blanchett is like in her 50s <laughs> so i mean yeah. like no no don't don't shade on kate blanchett i think she's wonderful but I thought that was a lot odd, personally. But, but Jack I mean, Black, Jack Black's gonna be claptrap. Is so. he claptrap? Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Honestly, the guy that they, so the whole thing with claptrap, right? Wasn't he voiced by somebody that was like a developer for a oh. while? And then I'm pretty sure that it was this thing, this whole thing, where he was like a developer, and he wasn't getting paid to do the voice of claptrap. Like he wasn't getting paid anything extra. Or for it was, it wasn't like for voice acting fees because he wasn't i don't know if he was like a sag actor i don't think he was mm-hmm. so when he started being like hey i feel like i should be paid more they're like okay see ya <laughs> really and they canned him yeah 100 percent. and that's that's gets to the I root of why so i love borderlands up. oh and that's so messed up <laughs> <laughs> that's so messed up um 
anyway, uh, I thought they the didn't whole thing mention was that in this weird. conference. So. No, I thought it was kind of weird and phony. Um, anyway, it was weird. It was bizarre. So they they were Hearsay. framed. They framed the whole thing as like Gearbox University. Yeah, I mean, it's a better presentation than like than the typical. I think it, was, I mean, it was better than Ubisoft. It was better yeah. than Ubisoft's like sort of presentation. It was it was very Gearbox. It was very like that humor. It was very Borderlands humor. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, yeah. the, as far as the movie goes, uh, I hope it's a good movie. And and it's, it's yeah, honestly, promising same. in the sense that they say, oh, we want to make a good sci-fi movie, not just a good video game adaptation movie. So at least the, I feel like there's a good mindset to have. But. Again, this just felt like a weird place to pit. Like, I get it. Borderlands is very integral to them, to their brand. Mm-hmm. Just felt like a really weird place to have it. You know? well, they didn't have that much else to show, so they had to... No, they didn't. They had almost there, nothing yeah. else. But they did have Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which is a it's going to be like a spinoff from Borderlands. Honestly, Borderlands Two, the DLC for Tiny Tina, is like probably my favorite thing. Uh, bunker, bunkers and badasses. What is it? Escape from whatever castle or something? I or adventure. What it's and, called. Yeah, but, bunkers and badasses is the D and D. But yeah, equivalent. basically D and D esque DLC. Yeah. And, and that's really great. Good. I think it's honestly not gonna lie. I'm kind of interested in Wonderland. Tiny yeah. Tina's Wonderlands. I think it looks fun. I'm sure yeah. you would really like the the DLC from Borderlands too. It's like some of my favorite Borderlands stuff we played. So I'm like tiny more of that in a full full game. I'm like yeah, hell yeah. So think about this. They showed almost nothing new uh, in this. Uh, if you, I mean, granted, you hadn't seen summer game fest so they kind of just showed all the same stuff again okay. and that I, I kind of give a pass to that and it's like okay some people may not have seen that reveal or whatever you know so it's like they do their own thing i get it it's kind of i think it's kind of nice though if you don't just show the same trailer and the same everything again it's mm. kind of nice to show something a little new and they they kind of went into like a slightly more detail by talking to some of the devs but like didn't really show all that much new so it was kind of like oh no that's too bad but the game actually i'm actually interested in that game so mm. good for them everything else about this was not good <laughs> i will say that uh <laughs> godfall getting a ps4 version mm. it's like cool it's basically them admitting that the ps5 version sold like garbage um which it which apparently did um <laughs> and yeah, I, I just... What I, was the other game? Tribes of Midgard? I don't even know. Tribes of Midgard, again, that was shown off at some indie thing. I think that was shown off like a, over a week ago at some other indie sort of thing. It, it, that was shown off in multiple places. Yeah. Again, <laughs> yeah, you show up a few places, but if people are tuning into Gearbox, good place to pump it, get it. Nothing new, again. Um, the other thing, this is the thing that was like legitimately... I'm not a big Homefront fan. I know that name because of my brother being a PC gamer in the late nineties, early two thousands Homefront is an extremely well-regarded like property. Mm-hmm. It's super ahead of its time. Revolutionary and like being like three dimensional strategy game. Uh, like in terms of like, instead of just like controlling an X, Y axis, you're going in space. So it's like, it's kind of a huge, a huge thing. They showed basically nothing. They kept t- being like, it's in development. It's like, yeah, I know we know. We, you, we've been saying it's in development for like the last two years. We get it. <laughs> yeah. You you could have made all of these little announcements on your Twitter and it would have made more impact. So it was like them, sh- them pumping it like in the, in, in the like press releases, Ooh, Homefront 2 is going to show up. And it's like Homefront 2 didn't show up. You said nothing about Homefront 2 other than like everything everyone already knew about it and like showed a couple of screenshots <laughs> showing screenshots. It was just like, that was terrible um and i didn't think that was fair to people who are waiting for that they <laughs> shouldn't have even had it at all they honestly they shouldn't have they shouldn't have even had it um why even try why even try so in a sense this one was even more insulting than the in the, the ubisoft one because at least the ubisoft one showed things mm-hmm. so and and i think that's it isn't that it that's it so uh, for, we forgot to do this on the first video. I meant yeah. to do the game of the show. Of each oh, game one. of the show. Well, game of the show for the first for Ubisoft, Ubisoft. was Mario and Rabbids. Mario and Rabbids, easily, for me. Yeah. For me, I was like, 
Far Cry 6. <laughs> yeah. No. Eh, it looks um, okay, but it's it not my series. It really. doesn't look great. See, I feel like we still haven't figured out facial recognition stuff. It's like, it still doesn't look good. All right. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito still looks, pre- looks pretty good. His likeness in that is not bad, I don't yeah, think. That's not right. It's not perfect. I remember when it, L.A. Noir was our thing. I, lo- I love the meme videos of like, L.A. Noir uses, you know, to check out the specific facial recognition. And it's like you were, I'm trying to do the X to doubt face. <laughs> you do these weird faces. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny, but I still feel like we're not there yet. Yeah, it's um, a little weird to look at. Of this, it was. Anyway. I mean, of this one, it was Tiny Tina's Tiny Wonderlands. Tina's Wonderlands. Yeah, easily. Yeah, I mean, I am actually interested in that game. So. That's already like more interesting than all the Ubisoft ones for me. But yeah. that's just my own personal thing. Um. So what? Gra- what would you? What, yeah, grades. What would you give it? You start this time. A D. Yeah, I was gonna give it a D plus. <laughs> I would say, oh yeah, I forgot D pluses are things. So I'll give it a D yeah. plus also because yeah, I would have given it a C minus just because I'm so I love the, the idea of that game so much, but I, I, there really I, isn't I, anything here lower than Ubisoft because honestly that home front stuff like it, like I'm not even a home front fan. It was kind of pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, <laughs> show something. Stop doing that. It's, <laughs> like, it's it was ha- just so... I have no, I don't know anything about this series, but yeah. But is, this is kind of better, slightly better than the other one for me, just because it has one yeah. game I'm actually interested in. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. If I played the like Far Cry Three, I played and I really liked. I just never yeah. beat it. And I feel like I would be into that that series, but again, it's one of those series. If you're not into it, then it's not really doing anything for you. Like Assassin's Creed, it's just Yo, the there. F- All I know is that the fish catching animation in in Far Cry Five made me lol. Okay. Because it was like it was this weird like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Tarkaron grade of D plus yep, for there you go. Gearbox. Thanks for showing Even up, t- Gearbox. Ties, you, ties Ubisoft. Like, <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing that. <laughs> thanks for thanks for showing up. <laughs> That's what I have to say to a lot of the people this year. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for showing up. Well, there's gonna be one that I, at Sony, least one. Sony gets an F. So. Sony. I mean, Sony. Yeah. Thanks for showing up, guys. Sony. Really honestly, uh, man, I can't wait till the day where they they come back, but they probably never will. Yeah, what are they just better like they're too good for e3 now like what's good yeah it's like well here's the thing do you do you remember what the last conference they had was it was amazing yeah, it was the intimate like the last of us and they had the little yeah they had like there was venue. like f- there were like the four things they had the, the last of us one and they had like the uh ghost of tsushima one where it was like the guy playing the the, the flute and everything mm, spider-man yeah it was amazing and they mm. they were ushering all the crowd to these different locations like kind of pretentious but like cool idea i think yes. it worked really I, everyone who went said it was really cool it was a mm. neat neat idea that they did so yeah yeah i mean that and i feel like that would work for them mm. the, the next conference we get into is like the opposite where there's just like so much they just throw so much at you but oh yeah it's, uh, sony like when like here are ones we have a lot of faith in and i mean yeah from all accounts, they they all seem to all have been of, really good games. So all of those games <laughs> were smash multi million dollar successes so, or multi million dollar multi million sales. They made much more than millions of dollars. They made like tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars on those games. So, so if you got it, you flaunt it. Yeah, but Tony doesn't got it this year. They don't got yeah. it. That's all. I, that's all I see. I just see weakness yeah. when you don't show up. Yeah. Well, honestly, <laughs> I mean the fact that okay, Godfall freaking ps4 we're we're bringing it to ps4 and it's like cool you bring it to a, a, a console an old console that's supposed to make me excited Start and they're like with the wii u free ps5 up to upgrade i'm like I, I, I mean i guess it's like so when you get a ps5 then you can update it and crossplay will be available yeah. and it's just like you're literally just well, take your time on getting a ps5 play. take your you're time just yeah no rush well, there's not much there this is me who owns like five PS5 games. Yeah, so. I don't own a PS5, so that's no, all that's I'll say okay. on the subject. All right, all right, thank you for well, watching. What, okay, what what video should the viewers watch next? Uh, go go watch our uh, review of uh, uh, extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. Go check yeah. it out. Yeah. You probably if you liked this conference, you'd probably like you, that. And you like the you wicked. Probably, yeah, you would <laughs> you'd like it. You're you into did. the vile things. Yeah. Get used to the jankier setup back then too of mine, because I was still living at my parents' house, so Right. Yay. Anyway, go yeah. watch that. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Like the video. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Instagram. And uh, uh, follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Tarkaran T W O. You, you can like us on Instagram too. Like our yeah, posts. like our posts. Yeah, put a little heart next to it. Share it on your stories. <laughs> <laughs>